This little Korok needs to get to his friend. Well, I hope your friend is in the depths of hell, buddy, because that's where you're heading. Fire the arrow! Hi, my name is Dom and welcome back to Top Gaming Plays. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed today's video and submit your clips using the link in the description. But let's get into it. When Zelda players use 200% of their brain. First, Liquid sticks this Karok with a piece of meat he fired down the mountain earlier. He now uses Recall on the meat to send the Korok to the top of the mountain. It's actually genius. This is probably the most insane off-road vehicle we've seen. It's been doing the rounds on Chinese social media sites. What makes this buggy fairly unique is this. It's four-wheel drive and has built-in suspension. I bet you're curious to see how it drives though, right? Probably the smoothest ride in the whole of Hyrule. U-Haul Crumb used all the boards for this. Wait, I've seen this one before. Hey, you, you're finally awake. For every amazing zone I build you see on this channel, there's a pat. <laughs> If you're struggling to get past the monsters at Hyrule Skyview Tower, then try this. Throwing a pinecone on a fire creates a strong updraft that you can then use with your paraglider. James didn't have the paraglider to complete this shrine, so he needed to get creative. He's using a combination of Ultra Hand and Recall on these cubes in order to make the jump. There's people out there building engines, mechs, bombers. Duxtaro is out there doing this. <laughs> So the infamous Twitter account Can You Pet The Dog has made a bold claim that you cannot pet the dog in Tears of the Kingdom. Rob is here to correct that claim with his dog petting contraption. You just need five logs and a plank of wood to form the hand. I don't think he likes it. 
warfare in Hyrule has evolved. Pabello's tank uses a construct head to automatically target enemies. Once they're in range, it activates every Zonai device and unleashes firepower upon him. He's about to roll up on a pack of Bow Coblin and put this thing to work. It starts well, but ends. Not good. Never mind Tears of the Kingdom, this is Golden Shower of the Kingdom. You know, the depths aren't really that bad. Wait, that is a Linnell, gloomed and armoured. This guy can one-shot you through eight hearts of health. Time to do what any sane person would do, run. Yup, that's right ladies, Link is forklift certified. Hey look, they added Varuta from Breath of the Wild, kinda. It's like you ordered Varuta from Wish. Bonus points for the working trunk though, nice touch. This is so me. I get an idea for a great zone I build, spend ages making it, jump on it to test it out and... For all you farmers out there, a sprinkler. So, the machine looks good. Hopefully Rev's done some reconnaissance on its flight path before he launches this thing. Never mind. Schmidtface has built a machine loosely inspired by Howl's moving castle. Just keep in mind that I did say loosely inspired, although it does move as elegantly as it does in the anime. Here's one way to cheese this shrine. Equip a shield fused with a rocket, then blast yourself up towards these rails before grinding to victory. It's weak baby cow's second day of playing, yet somehow they've pulled off one of the most clutch saves we've seen since the game launched. Your hands would be shredded after that. This is a brilliant shrine cheese from ZQZYU. The cheese starts with your conventional Ultra Hand recall strat, but it has a rather unique ending. Now high enough, he's able to use a send on the ceiling above, and you'll never guess what's directly above him. RIP to this one bird in particular. Ran Run refuses to look at a guide for this shrine. This is Ran Run two hours later.
quick pause. Oh, and spoiler alert, but you can actually just shoot a bomb flower at the target. So they're really going to fill a shrine full of logs and expect us not to do this. <laughs> Sour Lemon Dude has a trick to get near infinite amount of glide time. Step 1. Attach your wing to the Ultra Hand stack ahead of you. Step 2, transfer yourself across to the new wing. Step 3, almost immediately disconnect. Step 4, grab the remaining wings ahead of you with Ultra Hand. The more wings you start with, the further you can go with this trick. This is some out of the box thinking. Fuse the ball with your claymore, then... <laughs> There's just something so poetic about being destroyed by your own creation. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.